Hey everybody, so I'm down in North Carolina. Uh, I just picked up the car last night that I posted about yesterday. And not many of you really guessed what it was. Uh, a few people had uh, already known because they were sort of the part of the process um, to get this car, obviously, but I kept it pretty quiet. Um, normally I don't do that, but this is a car that I've wanted for a very long time. Um, I had something similar about 15 years or so ago. So if you knew me way back then, um, this probably wouldn't be a shock to you, um, that I, I decided to grab this thing. But, uh, basically it's just one of those cars that like many people don't think of really. Um, you know, it's not. When they think of an icon, a rally icon, they don't think of, you know, the early, mid-90s um, as really an icon. I mean, most of my, I guess, most of my followers are really either Subaru or Nissan-based, and this is neither. Um, it's also not, you know, your typical Audi or Peugeot, which Peugeot for me would be a really good choice if again you know that part of my life too um but Peugeot it's not this time around uh yes some people guessed that it was a Peugeot but even few guessed that so without further ado let me show you what I got All track. Yeah, GT4. I still don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this thing. Um, this car hasn't run in uh, five-ish years or so. They thought maybe it had a head gasket problem. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it because I just put it on a trailer. So until I can get it back to the shop, make sure that the motor cranks over by hand at least, um, you know, uh, we'll see where it goes from there. I mean, really, if the motor's no good, like completely no good, like seized from just sitting, I mean, you know, head, depending on how bad head gasket is, I mean, it, it could have locked up the motor. It could have done some other damage. I mean, either way, um, you know, it, it's possible that the head's going to have to just come off anyway, in which case then, you know, obviously, uh, we'd get into the motor a little bit more, but yeah, I mean, it, it needs a head gasket. It needs ignition. Um, it needs, uh, some other stuff, nothing crazy. Apparently it's very common for the rear hatch struts and hatch mounts to sort of rust off and disappear. Um, which is the case with this one. Um, and these rear hatches are super heavy without any sort of hydraulic assistance. So you don't want to keep them like that. Um, so we'll have to fix something there. Um, and then I'm not a big fan. I've never really been a big fan of the US version all track front bumper or really the hood. I mean, the hood's cool. It's different um, than, you know, the GTS that I had 15 years ago. And, uh, but I really want that sort of WRC Carlos Sainz look. Um, so I would probably grab, you know, uh, a hood and a front bumper from one of those. And then, you know, the wheels obviously don't fit the, the typical WRC flare. These are 16s. These stock wheels are 16s. Um, I would probably build, I don't know. I would probably want to build either, uh, a, a tarmac version, one of these, which there really isn't much difference for these generation WRC cars uh, or Group A cars, there's not very much difference between uh, a, a tarmac version to a gravel version other than really, you know, in terms of looks at least, other than really just a wheel change. Um, you know, so there's not much difference there, you know, but 
I don't know. I always have this weird fetish for safari cars. Um, and one of these, there, there's some very iconic, classic, you know, Group A WRC pictures from, uh, you know, Rally Kenya of this car. Um, you know, there's one of it deep in a mud hole. There's one of, uh, you know, uh, I forget the name of the mountain, Kilimanjaro in the background, um, which is just awesome, awesome photos. If you're a big fan of, you know, WRC and Toyota stuff, you've probably seen them before. I don't see how you wouldn't have seen them. Um, so, you know, Safari version of this would be super cool to do. Um, I honestly don't know much about Toyotas, uh, and what it would take to get, uh, the car to look like that. If I would have to custom make some of the stuff, or if, uh, somebody is actually out there that, that make some of the stuff or not. Um, but you know, tarmac version would be like a Monte Carlo version because I like the, the light pods on it. And, you know, I think that really always differentiates a rally car from just some normal street car. Um, so light pods would, I think would be a must and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe do some Safari bash bar. Maybe we'll do a, a Monte Carlo Safari mashup and we'll do the bash bar in the front with some lights and tarmac wheels big 17 or 18 inch tarmac wheels i think that would be cool but uh i don't know if i want to keep it to the same color theme either of just you know typical wrc you know either castrol colors or um you know the early like marlboro red white colors i don't think i want to stick to that i kind of maybe want to go off and do like a like a black car with uh white wheels um i think is my my first choice i think black is always my first choice but black is uh black looks pretty um but you can't see all the definitions of like the holes in the front bumper and in the hood and stuff like that so yeah but pretty much that's what we got and uh yeah i i hope you're all excited to see something happen with this car as much as i am I mean, I know I've got my other projects. I've got the Mini. I've got to fix the Quattro Rue so that it's ready for the winter. Uh, I've got a 350Z, you know, roller hiding in the back or shell that needs to be a roller hiding in the back. So I've got a number of other sort of, uh, you know, projects that I still need to work on. But this is something that I've really wanted for a long, long time. So I'm, I'm happy to finally have one. And... Uh, yeah, it's it's exciting for me, even though to a lot of people this probably looks like just some piece of crap. <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, that's what I do best. I, I take a piece of crap and make it look like a gem. So, anyways, thanks for all for playing yesterday, and uh, stay tuned to see what I do with this thing. Won't be too long before I get into it, so see you.